So now we have a functioning add form to be able to create content in our database. But before we release this for other people to use, we need to make some modifications here to make sure that the data is what we expect before we actually input it into the database. So in this next step, what we'll do is check to make sure that the information that's being supplied by the user fits certain parameters. In some cases, we'll check to make sure that the user has supplied any information. For example, we definitely want the user to supply their username, password, and first name. Next, what we'll do is check to make sure that the user is inputting a number for both the birth year and the shoe size. And then we'll check to make sure that the username here is unique, that it doesn't exist in the database yet, because part of the point of a username is that it's unique for each user. So let's jump to the resource back directory and open up the eighth step here, which is called CRUD form validation. And we'll copy this and paste it over the code that's in the test.php file and we'll save it. Now let's go ahead and do a demo of this form, inputting some information that's not quite right so we can see what kind of errors we get. So we'll skip putting anything for the first name. For the birth year, Let's put some characters in there that are definitely not a number. We'll do the same thing for shoe size. For username, let's type in admin, which is an existing user already, and we'll leave the password input empty as well. And then click add entry. Okay, so we got some errors here. It says, please enter a value for first, please enter a value for password, enter a number for birth year and shoe size. And then it says, sorry, it looks like that username is already in use. Now there's three major reasons to do validation. The first is security. We want to make sure that the user can't input something into this form that's going to be pulled into the database that we definitely don't want. Second, as a courtesy to our user, we want to make sure to let them know when they've input something that doesn't seem quite right. So they may accidentally type in certain information in the wrong input. We want to let them know about that. And third, we want to make sure that we have the right information too. So it's a courtesy to the user, but we also want to make sure that our data is accurate as well. And so validation helps with that. Now before we step through the code, let's do a file comparison between our last example and this example where we've added in validation so we can see exactly where the changes have been made. So I'm going to go back to the resource pack directory and I'm going to drag this seventh step over to my file comparison program and put it on the left. And then I'm going to take this eighth step and drag it over to the right hand side and click compare. 